Good morning. Uh, my name is Angela Thornsbury. We are from Not Central, and um, I'm the teacher leader or teacher rep for this group. Um, so this year, we, after talking to students and administration, we decided that our biggest challenge is student involvement, student motivation, or a lack thereof. Um, our attendance rate at Knott Central is very low. Um, we, we do good to keep it in the 90s. Um, I think on average we're about a 90% attendance rate. And so we just wanted to combat that. Um, when I was in high school there, you could go to a basketball game and you couldn't find a seat. And now you can have your pick. And I know that's across the board, but and it's not just about basketball games. But there's just a lack of enthusiasm, a lack of school spirit, and a lack of um, feeling like we're a part of things. So we decided this year that we were going to initiate a house system to get all the students involved. And so I'm going to turn this over and let Bryson and Emma explain just exactly what we have done. So with our house system that we were going to implement in the school, we wanted to um, kind of break down the barriers between the different classes, or the different, yeah, the different classes in our school. And we wanted to um, put all of the different grade levels um, intermixed with each other. So we initiated a survey at the beginning of the year this year that took um, personality traits into consideration and different interests and divided our student body into four different houses. And all of this week, actually, during our homecoming week, we've introduced the house system to all the students. And we have four different houses, and each of them represent a different personality trait. Um, one's responsibility, one is uh, leadership, courage, and um, wisdom. Wisdom is the other one. And they, uh, they each got divided into these categories, and we've had different competitions. And we're already seeing tremendous results uh, in how this is impacting our school. Just the other day, we had um, whoever got through the breakfast line, whichever house had the most percentage participation through the breakfast line we get house points that will go towards our end of the year competition and we've already seen tremendous increases in the amount of people that have went through this line which is something that we've struggled with in the past so it's already generating some enthusiasm in our student body I know I've heard lots of students that are excited about what competition we're having the next day so um, it's been a really good influence on our school already and I think that it will continue to be that for us in the future. And Emma is going to talk about some of the things that we're going to use to gauge that and further implement that throughout the rest of the school year. Uh, like Bryson said, there are uh, we're going to be implementing a lot of uh, friendly competitions into our school, like how, which house has the more, most people going through the breakfast line, and engaging in friendly competition. Uh, in the beginning of this week, when we unveiled our huge project, we had just a couple of like races and stuff like that, uh, where students were involved um, to get to gain points. Uh, and at the end of the year, we get we collect all the points together, and whoever has the most wins. Uh, we can gauge these kids these students by um, um, color wars because each uh, of our houses have a different color whoever has the most spirit in a pep section uh, can gain points oh and attendance and GPA is another thing um, if wh whoever whichever house has the most has a higher rate of attendance uh, that will get that will give them points and uh, the G and GPA um, the higher, the higher the GPA, again, you get more points. Does anybody have any questions? Go ahead.